All right, welcome everybody to the priorly or formerly known as Monday Fun Day, but since it's now moved to Thursday, we call this the Thursday night open house exclusive product session uh, where uh, an unfranchised owner or an unfranchised owner couple like we have tonight, Nick and Brittany, open up their home and give people a guide or a tour uh, through the products and services that they consume on a daily, regular, consistent basis. Um, uh, we try to cover as much of, we, uh, of what we use as possible, you know, uh, and, uh, and give you some tips and highlights of the things. Uh, the intent of this, and we're going to do this for the next three months, we may move back to Wednesday, we'll start to, to Monday, but right, right now it's on Thursdays. Um, uh, but we're going to talk about uh, each and every week um, different people's perspectives on how they've converted their household into a BV generating machine and converting your spending into earning. And that's what these are all about. Whether it's a product or service that you're selling or it's something that you're just using to consume, this night is all about learning how we integrate these products into our lives. And that's what it's all about. So tonight, we have Master Coordinator Nick Friday and Brittany Friday. I almost called you Witcher, uh, Britt, but uh, Nick and Brittany Friday, and um, and uh, they're going to give you guys. They're going to oh, they're open in their home. You can see we're in their home. We're in their living room right now. I think that's your living room. I'm not sure. No, it's not. Okay, uh, I, I stand corrected. But um, but they're going to give you a tour of a lot of our. Oh, that she's in her studio office. It's the makeup oh, studio. That's right. Uh, but they're they're going to give you guys a quick sprint through. I know they use tons of stuff, so this should be a good one. And. Uh, Grab your notepad, grab your pen, and you want to write down products that you've never heard of before that you haven't started to try yet because we're going to tell you what to do with those at the end of the day. We always have a call to action at the end of each session that we do for this open house session. So over to Brittany, and Nick's going to be with us shortly. So Brittany Friday, go for it, sister. Absolutely. So uh, my husband is currently getting me food because I'm a hangry Brittany. So if you hear me kind of, you know, space off or squirrel out, that's because I'm kind of hungry. Um, but that being said, this is one of my favorite topics because I don't know about you, but I am a consumer. I'm a shopper and I like to shop a lot. Um, so this is a lot of fun. I'm also, I'm going to give you like my side of things because you probably hear from Coach Nick all the time. Um, I'm just like, you know, more of the introverted side of him and just really, really quiet most of the time. Um, but I'm also fascinated with business. And do you know how smart your business is? Like how incredibly brilliant it is? I know you probably hear it from a lot of people, but the point that I'm making is that like, I'm wrapping up my taxes right now because they made that extension and I took it. Um, so with taxes, it's so cool because our job is to shop. And so when you're looking for write-offs, there's a lot, a lot more <laughs> that you could cover compared to other businesses because you're not stuck in one interest industry. So it's just something to drop there and I'll show you how I do that. Um, but I was gonna, I was gonna take you through my house and I'm gonna have an honest conf confession. Um, it was a long day at work and stuff like that. So my house is in a bit of a disarray and Nick was like, I'm not, I'm not pleased with the state of our house right now. So instead <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I brought to you an entire hamper full of the stuff that I use um, on a daily basis. And I'll walk you through my daily routine um, like really, really fast. And then what we'll do is Nick will share a little bit more about what you do, but I use more than him. I'm just gonna put it out there. I use way more because it's my life and it's my house. So I'll start off first with like my wake up routine. When I wake up in the morning, um, generally the first thing that I do, let me see, it probably went all the way to the bottom is uh, I go straight to the bathroom, of course. And I brush my teeth. How many of you use uh, our toothpaste? Okay, got a couple people. That's great. I know I grabbed it it's somewhere in here, but I use our toothpaste. Oh, here it is. This guy got a fresh tube. Um, I like it a lot because it's very, it's, it's very natural. Um, so I, I've actually gotten very used to it. You know, people are like, well, it's, it's plain. It's not the crest kind and stuff like that but here's the thing um after using this for a good year or so I 
find that when I go back to Crest and Colgate and all the other stuff, it tastes like sugar. So, and I'm like, I'm brushing my teeth with sugar. <laughs> so I actually really, really appreciate um, how this is. Every time I've gone to the dentist, they're like, your teeth are amazing. So I don't really, I, that's, that's the only review I got for you there. Um, beyond that, um, I'll go and wash my face, of course. And I, I like, I actually have my own regimen that I'm, I kind of put together for piece together for my skin. Um, I use right now timeless prescriptions, um, uh, cleanser and I'll actually go back and forth. I'm probably going to go back now that it's summer to Lumiere de V's cleanser. Um, I like that I can just switch with the seasons, you know, um, I'm using Lumiere de V's toner. I'm also using, uh, in the daytime, I'm going to most likely just for my moisturizer, use this. This is a very light moisturizer. I like using this both day and night. Um, this is the uh, VitaShield Cellular Repair Therapy um, for vitamin C and E. I love that. Um, I'll also, I like using the hand and body lotion, you know, when I jump in the shower. And speaking of a shower, uh, Royal Spa, where would we be without it? right? Yes. I, right, Gina? It is. It's my favorite moisturizer as well. What did you say? Just explain that I had to step out quick. If I'm not back, just explain my routine. I'll do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you know, this is what we're doing. We, we work really, really fast. Anyway, now that I've gotten my morning, like just woke up out of bed, how many, you see how many products that was just right away? out of bed it's like that's uh what seven products oh and I forgot of course you're washing your hands right so I'm using this hand wash because I use the toilet so of course I'm washing my hands um whew, man now <laughs> right just like that like here, here's the thing just to point this out to everybody like when I have people say man I don't know how you know I don't know how I'm going to use 50 BV a month I just I just scratch my head like yeah Yep. Uh, uh, in the first 15 minutes of the day you know what i mean like i've had people say that i'm like it's the easiest thing in the world like the average consumer so you guys know your auto ship when you start needs to be 50 bv that goes to 150 when you hit ex executive coordinator but the average unfranchised owner uses 400 to 600 bv a month 400 just converting the spending that they would have spent before into their own thing and you can see why with i know i think nick and Brittany probably use more than that but but you know, yeah, some of us just are little, yeah. we're, we're achievers, I right? I really do panic when like this amount of soap right now is I'm not comfortable. I'm really not. Cause like what we'll do, like I've tried going back to other soaps, I can't. And um, because of the vitamin A uh, beads and E beads that are in here, they have really taken away a lot of the scars that I've had growing up as a kid. Um, so, and, and now when I go back to other things like Dove, it just feels chalky and cakey. I'm sorry. I've, I've been using this for over five years. I can't, I'm done. Like, right. <laughs> so this is scary to me, um, that it's this low and, um, about to go and just load up Nick's cart now, uh, with stuff. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, Oh, that, that, that's gotta be replaced. Um, anyway, so, and I haven't left the bathroom yet. That's all a lot of stuff, right? <laughs> so now let's move to the kitchen and talk about, cause I'm, I'm getting ready for my day. Um, uh, by the way, I work from home. Um, I develop curriculum for Pearson. So, um, many of the kids that like, if you have kids and they go to school, um, you know, the textbooks and stuff like that, I create their, their virtual school stuff. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. So this is my, also my office. This is where, you know, I'm getting stuff going and in, in there for the office stuff. And I'm also a piano teacher. So on the other side is a piano. So I pretty much live in this room. But before I get to this room, <laughs> I'm, I'm passing by the kitchen. And of course I'm gonna take my isotonics. So you, you thought I was gonna start off with isotonics, but I was like, nope, nope, nope. I gotta get myself together. Oh, and but I forgot to mention that sometimes I feel like being pretty. <sighs> I didn't start there. <laughs> so sometimes I do. And then when I do, I have like all this, out of the way, all this Moda stuff, right? Over here. I don't know, guys. I mean, really, there's so much that I could do. But let's say today I didn't decide to be pretty, or I am pretty, but you know, you get what I'm saying. So I didn't decide to like, you know, do myself up. 
And let's say that I just wanted to get my isotonics in there. So, I, you know, I like the packets personally. I just think it's fast and easy and I love it. So, you know, I'll, I'll do this or I'll do the turn up. Um, I can't have caffeine. I'm the anomal an anomaly here where I really can't have caffeine. But Nick can. So Nick is like laying in bed until like a long time. He's, he stays in bed a long, 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 long time. So whenever he wakes up, he usually has an awake shot right by his bed. But that I digress. Anyway, um, I will have my isotonics and then I usually go straight into here before I come back out to make my breakfast, okay? Um, so I'll be working for a pretty long time, eight hours out of the day. In the middle of the day, there's a couple of extra things that I, I will do. Ooh, I just realized that I got all this, this was not closed. <laughs> that was on the bottom. Um, <laughs> but I will do my laundry, right? Um, while I'm you know working, because when you're working from home, you can do your laundry and stuff. Um, so this is like, this is the most underrated, but probably one of my absolute most favorite things. And I've never, I, I will honestly tell you, I have never really, Anytime I've recommended it to somebody, I haven't had an angry customer really about it or like a negative review other than the fact that they're like, are there other scents, right? But I'm like, dude, <laughs> just take it for what it is. You don't need the scents. Go get yourself one of the scent boosters for your, for your wash. It's fine. Um, but you know, other than that though, this has like no fiberglass in it and it any, like, honestly, I've never had static claim when using that. And that's like, six years, six, seven, six, seven years now of not having static cling. That's a long time. That's a really good reputation. I also use this by the way, for my carpets. So I will, I'll, when I'm vacuuming and cleaning up other things, I'll use it for my carpets. That being said, um, in the middle of my work day, I do get hungry and I need to go and make my breakfast. Right. So we didn't even go into exactly how I try to funnel as much. I'm only talking about BV products right now, but if I was talking about, um, you know, non-BV products like IBV stuff, um, there's, there's a reason for why I, I like to go as crazy as I do with the business besides the fact that I get BV and IBV. Yeah, that's nice. But if I can funnel as much as, uh, as I can through my business, I do portal tours and I show people how I do this so therefore it's a write-off guys like do you get like what I'm saying and like therefore it counts um so I try to um get my groceries as much as I can through shop.com um I try to you know like giant for instance if you live up here in PA giant is a partner store and you can go and set that up so anyway I'm, I'm just talking frankly about a lot of things that I'll do um you know if you like to listen to music th throughout your work day you got title you got, I like Netflix at the end, in the end of the day, you know, Kroger is for the VA peeps. Yes, you got that. And actually I get Kroger shipped for most things um, that I have because they'll give more cash back and stuff for me or not cash back, but IV, IBV, I tell cash back to everyone else who's not uh, part of the business. Um, but I will, that's, I'm like constantly trying to funnel as much as I possibly can through shop.com. Um, and I keep record of that, of course. Um, but that being said, after I'm done with breakfast, I got to wash my dishes. So I use, <laughs> I use snap, <laughs> right? Uh, and then uh, from there, if I'm eating lunch, I like to have some extra supplements. So I'd say my favorite supplements, geez, Brittany, what'd you do? You poured all the snap around here. <laughs> um, anyway, I like uh, probiotics. So this product is also one of those underrated, not very well understood products, but it's so good that it's, my mom has it. My mom, by the way, has her, she's part of a whole nother business and they have their own probiotics, but she has this on auto ship twice a month. Every two weeks, she's like, I better not be out of this. The reason why is because this product has 10 strains, like all 10 strains of the, of the bacteria that you really need in your gut. But then it also at the same time has a special, um, uh, special technology called BioTract. And that technology is like isotonics in a way, but it's not going to like speed up the process or anything. It's just that when it's in your stomach, it's got a little like lifeboat around it so that your stomach acids don't, dis don't dissolve it. And it, most of the bacteria survive and they'll end up in your, in your gut. The thing is, is that most probiotics don't have that type of technology. 
Um, and so my mom who has severe eczema, she's had it for her entire life, noticed an amazing, amazing, um, night and day difference because she, because of this bacteria. And, and the thing is, is that probiotics are like soldiers. I'm not even going to go through, but anyway, she has, she gets so many bottles of this because she's making the rest of my family take it. She's like, this is very, very good. So I take it too. And uh, I also love this now. I've been taking a lot of these, um, you know, blah, blah, especially for my skin, just makes my skin look really, really good. Um, okay. Oh, I forgot to say, also for lunch, I found that this actually tastes quite amazing. So take like your favorite sparkling water and then also take the astaxanthin, as, you know, natural flavor stuff, mix them together and it actually does not taste bad. So, um, because I was like, oh no, natural flavor, right? When I tried it and then I was like, wait, hold on, mix it with your favorite juice or whatever, you'll get over it. It's, it's amazing. It's actually really good. Um, okay, so now that I've gone through most of my day, does anyone have any questions before I get to dinner and everything like that? Okay, David. You're muted. Um... That snap stuff you used in your laundry, what was that? Was that detergent or what? That is um, fabric softener. Is really oh, good. Yeah, this dude. is fabric softener. Okay. But it also, it just takes away a lot of like bad odors anywhere, especially on, on fabric. So if it's on your carpets or if it's, it's on powder, your carpet, it? what was that? It's a powder, isn't it? Yep, it's a powder. It's all over my hamper now because I didn't know <laughs> this. Um, so I'm like, I'm like, ooh, I'm really smelling it right now. It's it has a very light, pleasant scent, but it just takes away a lot of the odors. And speaking about odors, I have cats, all right. Um, and so uh, my cats can sometimes make a bit of a a smell along with you know have a little bit of accidents that happens um because you know it comes with the territory so i like using this guy the sos um because it really like here's the thing about cats if they if they make a mistake uh in an area that they're not supposed to they will continue to go back to that area i can't have that happen so this really eliminates a lot of that smell so they won't do it again okay uh, so uh that that fabric softener comes in in a powder so do you mix that with water and then put it in your? Oh no, no. Nope. It's, basically, it's basically the crisp. It's basically the crystals, Dave, that are on the sheets, fabric softener sheet. You just don't have the sheet, so it's the crystals that would be on a fabric softener sheet without the sheet. So that's what it is. Daddy, Daddy. And what we'll do is we'll we'll we'll, we'll pop some questions at the Daddy. end, so we'll let Brittany and Nick go through, and then we'll so get more questions. That, that's what that so is. You just put it right in the laundry with with your laundry detergent. With yeah, your don't with don't do it the way Nick does. Nick's listening, by the way. Nick does so much that he clogs up the lint things. I know because when he was with me, I'm like, "How is our lint thing so clogged?" He love he loves that stuff. He's like, bup, bup, bup. he does it like salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> no, it's just so. it, it, it's for the dryer. It's not for the washing machine. It's for the dryer. Right. Oh, it's for the dryer. I yeah. see. Okay. All right. So you're gonna sprinkle it in the with your when you put your clothes in the dryer, you sprinkle it in with your clothes before you dry them. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So um now that we've done all of that, I'll talk about dinner and then going to bed. So um by the way, like usually after work, that's when I'm doing most of my cleaning. So I try to I try to do that after work. Um, but as I'm winding down and getting ready for bed, um, I'll, I'll eat my dinner, of course. And then of course I'm going to have digestive enzymes. I have, i like, Nick has a stomach of steel. He can just eat anything and have no problems. I have a lot of dietary restrictions and therefore most foods don't really agree with me. So this just kind of helps my, helps my eating process along. So I don't get heartburn and all those other wonderful things that go along with it. Bloating, gas, oh, well. <laughs> you know, don't get any of that. Um, and it allows me to sleep better. I honestly, I can't eat after most times. So like this is eating now is really late for me. So I'm most likely going to have one of these guys before bed. Um, so 
after that, I'm going to start winding down and getting ready for bed. Um, if I do, okay, I don't like to wash my hair at night because it takes forever for me to do it. But if I am going to wash my hair, um, I, I brought this out to point this out to anyone, especially with anyone that has my hair type. I like using the aloe gel to lock my hair and moisturize my scalp. It does a really good job. It does exactly what aloe is supposed to do. So, and it holds everything in place really, really well. So um, I personally love the aloe gel for that. Yes, yes, Gina, yes, yes, yes. I just, I discovered this myself. I was like, ah, why not? Let's try it. And that's how I, that's how I keep my hair looking tight. So, um, <laughs> you know, I've been doing it for months now and it locks wonderfully. Um, anyway, um, as I'm going to bed, some extra things that I might do are, of course, I'm going to wash my face and go through with the same thing products that I had before, but I'll probably also add the timeless prescription pads um, because that, I like doing that at night. This, my skin is a little sensitive to the sun right now, especially when I'm using um, the timeless prescription pads because they have um, the, uh, um, what is it, uh, AHAs in them, alpha hydroxy acids. So, but it does an amazing job at removing the blemishes that I have and exfoliating my skin. I really do that. And if I'm not using these for an exfoliation process, then I'm gonna be using the mask, um, the Lumiere de Vie Volcanic Mask is what I'm gonna use. Um, of course, I'm brushing my teeth. Uh, oh, before I wash my face, I'm taking the makeup off with a makeup wipe if I have makeup uh, on. And, oh, and I, and I love using, adding uh, serum concentrate. So, um, you know, if you hang out in one of our facial classes, then we can break that down. <sighs> so <laughs> that was my day. Um, and there's way more that I used. This is just like a, the tip of the iceberg. I might sometimes have clients where I'm like making makeup for them or I'm, you know, doing consults for them. Um, what else? Okay, so when it comes to Nick, Nick does pretty much what I do for the most part. Um, there's a few tweaks that he'll do. For instance, he loves using, when he wakes up in the morning, he likes the awake shots. Um, he also likes using the Lumiere de V uh, Ohms, Omies stuff. So this is the beard elixir that I have in my hand, but he likes the restoring serum. Um, he likes that a lot. He also, he drinks, I said that when I got married, I wanted to marry somebody who drinks coffee because I can't. And I love the smell of coffee. And I love the smell of everything caffeine. I just cannot have it, right? So <laughs> you ever want to see a fun time? Watch me on caffeine. Anyway, um, so... <laughs> You so, and me, Greg, you and me, both of us. <laughs> right? Uh, so he'll have mocha tonics instead. You know how much mocha tonics I sell just by like saying, you know, Nick drinks it and he has a great time with it. Um, <laughs> it's just doing that <laughs> all the time. Do you want to talk about mocha tonics or anything else? Yes, of course. Cool. You can talk about yourself. I'm like trying to fill the time here. But that was my day. I hope I explained a lot. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I can explain my day in five minutes, but good job, sweetheart. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, I forgot. I do my laundry with, with snap stuff, like uh, more snap stuff. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, snap. What do you got here? I, I, some of this stuff I here. by accident spilled. Oh, sorry, guys. I had an emergency. I had to pop out real quick. Brittany did a great job filling time. I can explain my day in about five minutes because it's 930 or so already. However, I jumped on in enough time to hear my wife throw me under the bus Did and I? say whenever I like to wake up first off I don't answer to nobody because I'm in business full-time so <laughs> I run on a completely different schedule so for instance Steve and I we had a wellness webinar last night from what time Steve 10 to almost midnight so uh, I no longer have to be anywhere at 7 30 8 o'clock in the morning yeah, so if I am up at 9 30 10 o'clock and you know, I run from that time till maybe like usually like 9 30, 10 o'clock. Those are my my hours of operation. I say, yeah, like I'll have an awake shot sit right by the bedside. Even I pre-open it because I don't even want to think about opening it. And plus, when you have a wife that loves to talk to you first thing in the morning, <laughs> my rule and motto is be my friend, talk after 10. 
Like, just let me have my morning and collect my thoughts. Like, let me get some caffeine in my system. I know we're supposed to typically do isotonics first, but sometimes I sneak a little awake shot in there first. And I mean, I, let me just, I'll run through my day quickly, guys. Like Britt said, hand soap, of course, we utilize this. Got to wash our hands. Shopping annuity, toothpaste, shopping annuity, deodorant. Got to smell good and fresh. Um, of course, we're in the shower, so we use a shower gel. Um, I, I am getting better at taking care of my face, as she has been explaining to me. So using our Lumiere de Vie homies, uh, I hit that cleanser, and then I hit the new serum that we have as well. Uh, did we bring the beard elixir? Yeah. I, of course, to utilize the uh, beard elixir as well. Um, honestly, I mean, this stuff is amazing. I've used many different beard elixirs before we had that. The stuff smells like peanuts. It's disgusting. It leaves it very oily. This smells more, it's got like an aloe type of scent to it. Um, and you don't get that crunchy feel in your beard. Not so, beards, you know, yeah. we, don't, we, don't, we don't do crunchy beards, fellas. So <laughs> any kind of facial hair you have, I highly recommend the Beard Elixir for that. Um, you know, swing it into, I get my, my isotonics in there for sure, daily essentials, vitamin D as well. Um, depending on what other isotonics products we have, I'll mix that into the cocktail. I then absolutely get, did you bring the shakes? I get my uh, nutritional oh, yeah, shakes, the TLS shakes. shakes. And everyone, please, like I throw weights around. I, I, I still love lifting heavy and all of that. Even though our TLS shakes say weight loss on them, like they are absolutely phenomenal for putting on muscle. So if you're afraid about that, or if you had an athlete or someone that's like, oh, your protein shakes say weight loss, it, it, it doesn't matter. You can get them on Zoom or something with me. I utilize those. And I've got about six canisters of cookie and cream, cookies and cream. If you have not tried that, it is awesome. Uh, we did hear, of course, correct me if I'm wrong, but that is going to be a staple now. So it is not limited edition. Um, oh. Wait till about June, July or so. And that that's going to be a flavor added in. Hopefully, if enough of us say we can get pumpkin spice back, uh, as well, because that was really good too. So I love our nutritional shakes, right? <laughs> it's like, ah, <laughs> ah. ah. So, so, uh, so I get my shake in, right? That's typically my breakfast. I don't eat a, I don't eat a really big breakfast. Uh, I then get my coffee in, as Brittany was saying, I am absolutely a coffee. I am a caffeine connoisseur. When we're on a plane, when we were flying before COVID and everything, yo, I'll bring my French press and I will bring my coffee with me. All I need is hot water and I'll sit there and I will mix it right on the plane. I don't drink airplane coffee. I don't drink nobody else's coffee. So I'll bring my French press and I'll make it fresh so that all I need is hot water and you can mix that up. So I get my coffee in. Uh, and then from there, I just, I get my day going guys. So I have my agenda as I am pursuing business full time now. Um, and I do have some personal training clients. I get my messaging out there. I'm trying to book appointments. Um, typically around like 12, one o'clock, two o'clock, I get really tired. So I'm definitely going for my mocha tonics. Um, and sometimes even instead of mocha tonics, I will do another awake shot. Uh, but the best thing about these is with the packets, you get like at least two, if not three servings in there in a regular size cup. So even if you get the packets, so you can like pass them out and do trial size marketing with people, I still have enough for my own personal consumption. Um, so I do love the mocha tonics right around like one, two o'clock or so. Uh, you know, from there, I'm getting my lunch in, getting ready for my workout, which is usually around like four or five o'clock or so. Strawberry is the next flavor. Are you serious? Strawberry mocha tonic. Oh no, strawberry yeah. protein shake. <laughs> I'm like strawberry mocha. Actually, that don't sound half bad. Mm -hmm. If we can get that done. Call JR and Lauren, strawberry mocha. <laughs> so as I wind down here, guys, let me wrap up. I get my workouts in right after the workout. Oh, you didn't bring it in. That's okay. I get my secreta gog in. This oh, yeah. is the one. Oh, I look. I can you grab that. that canister if you don't mind? It's in the kitchen. Yeah. Guys, I cannot say enough. If you're working out, you're exercising, anybody that's 30 and beyond, right? Like we're hitting it now. The metabolism is slowing down. We need our pituitary gland to start secreting that HGH hormone again, naturally, very naturally, right? Uh, and that is the best product I have ever taken in my life for putting on and sustaining lean muscle mass. Uh, and I played football and ran track in college and in high school and been training almost all my life. So that secreted gog is coming in right around like six, seven o'clock or so. If you've never tried it, guys, honestly, it, it's kind of like how we say with OPC3, like just try it for a month. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, the secreted gog, I highly recommend it. 
do your research on it. You can go to your, right to your site, check the research, frequently ask questions and everything. But it's kind of like trying yeah, OPP yeah. for the first time. You got to give it a month Good. and a half or so. Make sure you're working out with it because that's when you get the best result. So that's again, like, right around six, seven o'clock. We eat dinner. Uh, Don, I still got a freezer full of meat, bro. So I found a place we can get bison. There's a giant grocery store where I found bison sirloins or uh, still got some venison from my hunts with Don or steak or chicken or still got some of that halibut that I got from you, brother. Is that Haley? Hey, Haley. <laughs> Haley, flex. Throw a muscle. Throw a muscle. <laughs> so um, yeah. there you go. <laughs> so I eat a little bit later. That's just me. So I follow up dinner with digestive enzymes or definitely the probiotics. Uh, like Brittany was mentioning as well. I got to break those proteins down uh, so I can sleep better at night. And then when it gets to sleep, of course, guys, as I finish up here, um, the prime dreams and or isotonics turn down. So let me explain your options there. It's not dreams anymore. Prime sleep with melody. Is that what we're calling yeah. it? So prime sleep, but uh, you know what it is. Either have good dreams or have good sleep. Um, they're capsules now. I used to be able to bite the pill in half because I don't like, depending on, on how sensitive you might be to the melatonin, um, I would bite one of them in half and take it. The new formula is a capsule. So I just take one of those and it does the trick for me. Um, it's really good to take it honestly around like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Like, please don't take it around like midnight, one, two o'clock. And then like, I want to get good sleep. I mean, you might feel a little bit groggy the next morning. So take it at a decent hour. It'll help you to wind down. The turn down, I really love as well as another option. So that's one that you would take separately from all your other isotonics. Uh, eight ounces of water, you drink it right before bed. Um, some people, just if you're really sensitive to having a lot of liquids in your body, you know, you don't want to have to get up to use the restroom. Um, it doesn't give me much problem. It really just depends on like the prime sleep is when I want to knock out. Like I got nowhere to be the next morning. Don't talk to me till after 10 o'clock and I'm ready to go. Uh, the turn down is just a little bit lighter one for me. Um, and honestly, that's, that's, that's my day guys. Like all those products. And then there's even a couple of other ones that I'm sure Britt talked about. Like, you know, we have the, the all Lumiative E lotions, all the other skincare, all the cleaning stuff. I help clean too. Don't let her fool you. I don't sit around and don't do laundry. I clean and do all that too. But um, yeah, guys, I mean, be a pro first. When did that start? Bro, I've always done been cleaning. What oh. I cannot do, <laughs> I am, I'm gonna put you on blast. <laughs> I'm gonna put her on blast because she don't know how to cook. I do all the cooking. Right, it's an exchange, it's a fair exchange. She I'm knows how to put eating. things together though. I don't know how to read instructions and put things together. So that's all, that's all Brittany exchange. back here. <laughs> um, I know Miriam had a question. Yes, I'm good. done. So awesome. I'm, that's real all quick, before Miriam does the question, Nick, tell everybody real quickly, because we didn't have a chance to do this last week. Tell everybody about some of the things that you would use, maybe not every day, but a couple things between I know you guys the clear shield the 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 auto the uh, the auto works the the cannabicool um and and maybe you know, the auto works and and the friction free oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah that's I mean basically all those things I'm trying to think because it's kind of hard because it's like we do use everything <laughs> we do we so, do use like, a lot I can um, I can tell you about um cannabiquin which I didn't. Pull yeah, in, yeah, for sure. But um, I have very stressful days. Mm -hmm. uh, I had even more stressful days at my previous job. I just got this new job that I told you about. Not as much stress now that we're married because I'm amazing. Sure. And. <laughs> kidding. You, like Who's you. laughing? Who's unmuted? <laughs> I hear you ah. laughing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but at my, at my previous job, I was in a high paced sales environment, call a hundred people to get one yes mm -hmm. environment. Um, very, very stressful. And then before that, I used to work at um, the app, my local Apple store and did seven years there on my feet. So my stress levels were like pff, way out of the, off the chain. So I will use, I don't recommend using cannabiquin while you are at work. <laughs> um i did you can you'll feel really good really good. but you probably won't want to do work mm -hmm. um but you mm -hmm. know like <laughs> when I'm at, I'm at home and i'm really like i need a moment to relax mm -hmm. it's very very helpful for that mm -hmm. i also found that it was very helpful for like when i had like cramps mm -hmm. and other 
interesting like body womanly body stuff yes that just would be very painful it was very helpful mixing that with um with either turn down mm -hmm. or calcium mm -hmm. definitely helped me um and headaches that it also helps a lot with headaches yeah so. Yeah, the cannabiquin for sure. That's not one that I take every single day. Uh, but same thing with Brittany. Um, I used to also work at the Apple store in King of Prussia. I uh, did a lot of driving because um, we were living here in Allentown. I used to work for ADP as well. Uh, guys, when we talk about doing calls and reach outs for our business, um, in my unit, we had to do like 30 calls a day. Um, try to do two, two to three appointments a day. Right. So like all of this would stack up and, and very high stress, very high quotas and whatnot. And um, so the one time at work, oh, I popped two cannabiquin and a thymanol. That, let me tell you, is a wonderful mixture. Uh, I, yeah, I'll definitely say not if you're like driving a vehicle or anything like that. I can't get this to work this time. Have you try it? Oh, go. I, mean, I thought we had to make someone just make it all muted. Just keep it like identify the image thing i've tried it Don, can you oh get... yeah like select on the one the bus or whatever mm -hmm. so you're not everybody there we go yeah. awesome <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah two cannabiquin and a thymanol that for me is like the perfect like stress reduction technique you know that that right there is amazing that's not when we do all the, all the all the time but we will always have cannabiquin Just uh, in the house Cannabical yeah is really good for mosquito bites as it's summer mm -hmm. it's coming out and that's it's really really good for that yeah um what else is really good uh the tire cleaner honestly guys so yeah oh my gosh let me talk on this um talk forever on it. Oh, i will not I'm talk for i'm kind of angry you guys hear what i have to put up with here <laughs> um if you guys did not realize if you're big on like keeping your cars clean and and just making sure like you know daily water daily weekly washes if uh you don't use the right tire cleaner to to make keep your tires nice and black and shiny they will put air bubbles in your in your tire and that's what will cause them to pop and if you're anything like me and i used to have all my cars are basically all wheel drive you have one tire pop you're replacing all of them you're not replacing just one of them um, and so do yourself a favor, try our tire shine uh, from the uh, Auto Works line. Um, it's the chemicals that they use that are safer on the tire tread. So like, don't just go to AutoZone and just grab whatever is on there, guys. Like we have so much stuff. Um, Brittany said we have two cats. So we're going to get, we were really good. We're going to get back in habit of using the Pet Health multivitamin and OPC. We use um, shampoo to clean them. Yep. We, they get, they get, bad. I don't they care if the, they lick themselves. They're going to get baths too. So, <laughs> um, but uh, when you think about preventative health, not just for ourselves, for people, like think about it for your pets, for your dogs, your cats, whatever the case is. I mean, do you really want to look at a vet bill? I've heard asinine vet bills in the thousands of dollars. You know, try the pet health stuff. It's 20 bucks. You sprinkle it on their food and it works. It works just as good as our formulas do for people, of course. So, so I mean, really quick, because I know that we've been talking for a long time, but mm -hmm. I know Marianne had a question about, should I take my probiotics before the first meal of the, or she takes it um, before the first meal of the day. I take it with a meal because it's, it's actual bacteria. And so, and it's going to sit in my stomach for as long as it takes to break down food. Um, it's just that it's not going to be destroyed by my stomach because you know how amazing your stomach acids are. So um, what I will do is I like to wait until about lunch um, because that's when I find that it's the most optimal time, either lunch or dinner. Actually, I know that Maleva was saying that dinner is, is the ideal time because your body is restoring itself while it's sleeping, while you're sleeping anyway. So mm -hmm. um, that's a, a very good time to, to take your pro probiotics. Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with taking it with breakfast. It's just that I find that I have the most success around dinner, lunch or dinner. Yeah. Um, any other questions? Yeah. Anything else, guys? I just say, guys, be, and I was not always this way. If there's any single guys out there, I'm looking at you, Jason Peer. <laughs> we might find that we don't, we don't use as much. Before I met Brittany, guys, I'll be honest. Like, I'm like, all right, Mogatonics, Daily Essentials. And like, that was all I would use, right? And of course, we have many more products now, you know, that we can build our shopping annuity with. 
But um, it, it is, it is uh, I forget what study was done, but JR and someone, I think Dennis Franks talked about this, that uh, they were doing the research and they found that single guys don't use as many products. So all of the single men out there, I feel like a Beyonce song, all the single fellas, uh, <laughs> use all the products that you can. That's gonna be the remix, right, Don? Use all the products that we can, guys. Uh, ladies, of course, always do a phenomenal job and just encourage your team as well. Like, be aware of these things. If we be a product of the product first, guys, and we set the right example, that's what's gonna duplicate. And of course, as I'm sure Don or, or Britt already mentioned, the, the more experience you have with your products, the better you can talk about it, which is gonna make it so much easier to retail. Like with my training clients as of late, like every single month, they must, they do an order. It's part of how I train them. And they do 200 BV orders. Uh, many of them do uh, every single time they order. Cause we're just finding things that they can utilize. Uh, don't let that deter you. Like, oh, I'm not a trainer. I don't have clients. Like with TLS, you have all the ed educational videos and resources. So you can share that with people and just be like, hey, I recommend this, 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 and this you know, based off your goals. So anyway, let me not ramble. Yeah, I'm done. I Any mean, other? Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah, the last thing I was just going to say um, was that, again, it's just incredibly smart to try to funnel as much as you possibly can through your business. I mentioned the tax write offs. But then again, I also mention it because like Nick was saying, you know, you want to be able to not only be a product of the product, but you want to review your own stuff. Right. And what I mean by that is we're a product broker. So we'll only give you the best of the best, but that's only based on reviews. So if you try something and you don't like it, I have a habit of doing one or two things. I will, I like to post reviews. I like to do that um, because it works very well. And the company is very good at responding back to you. The other thing that I like to do is I like to just call them right away. <laughs> I call corporate and I just, I ask them. So for instance, the makeup wipes, right? They were good. And then they, they kind of switched up the formula because people were like, I want them to be um, not have parabens in them. So, but then the formula didn't work so well with my skin. So I called them and I was like, hey, it's not really working so well. So they did it again, like within a couple of months, they changed so they switched it up. The whole formula and they switched the whole just formula for just for me. No. I'm like, it's so amazing, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, but like, really it's Mark, like the company wants to hear your reviews. So try everything. I tell everyone to try everything. And then like Amazon or every other place that you shop at, if it works, continue to buy it. And if it doesn't work, then you don't have to buy it, but see if you can find something else that funnels through your business. Try to funnel as much as you can through your business. That's the point, <laughs> right? So I think that's go. all we got. Any questions? Anything we can? I started taking heart health fish oil pills. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm wondering when is the best, I started taking them two nights ago and it says to take with a meal, mm -hmm. but I'm wondering if it's better to take it with breakfast or lunch or supper. Yeah, um, I, I think may, the, the right answer, correct me if I'm wrong, Don, is maybe just with your largest meal. Um, so for some people that might vary. I have a very light breakfast. Uh, lunch is a little bit bigger for me. And then usually just because my workouts are later, I have an even bigger dinner. So for me, it's either lunch or dinner. Um, the other thing that I'd recommend, David, is with, and with for everybody, with the fish oil capsules and, uh, and the um, cannabiquin as well, if you get those burps, like if you feel that like heartburn burp coming up, like that's normal. But if you freeze them, actually, so put them in the freezer, I heard that that can help reduce it. So for the fish oils and for the cannabiquin, that is safe and that's okay to do. Okay, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You can also take some digestive enzyme with them too. Mm -hmm. Like when you're taking your omega-3, you take your omegas mm -hmm. with a meal and drink digestive during the process, the digestive yeah. enzymes, and that helps the, the repeating. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, well, guys, this was awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Guys, spread the word. Everybody has a job. And the action step is this, right? You guys learned a lot about procs. You may have learned about things you never heard before. Tonight is action taking night. Go make your order for the things that you haven't tried yet in the categories that you need right away. That's really what this is all about. You want to make that automatic every single week when you get on these, these calls. If there's something you know you need to spend money on, 
and there's a product you can spend from yourself, that's the call to action every single week on our uh, MA product open house. So this was awesome. You guys did a great job. Thank you so much for the feedback. And um, so the other call to action is make sure you bring your guests and your unfranchised owners with you next week on both Team Building Tuesday and the MA Pro open house, product open house Thursday. Just a quick announcement on that. Um, next week, the open house will be Vena Hudgens and Jimmy Hudgens. So Vena and Jimmy Hudgens are going to be opening up their home and telling you guys all the things that they use. And then Team Building Tuesday, that's on Thursday night at 9 p.m. Then Team Building Tuesday is going to be myself and Gina Connor. And we're going to talk about the onboarding checklist, how to use the onboarding checklist, how to onboard people correctly. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about sketching out the plan, too. People were curious about that. And, uh, and also, we're really going to emphasize the 72-hour rule. We're going to teach you guys how to get an automatic process of people leading to people every 72 hours with the systemized approach for that. So it's going to be a fun one, multifaceted. So that'll be Tuesday night. Um, so anyway, appreciate you. Nick and Brittany, awesome work. Appreciate you guys. And uh, everybody else, love y'all. Make it a great day. And we'll see you guys next week with at least one or two new people with you every single week. One to two new people with you. Um, don't forget to use your home shopping list. Steve, Steve Turner is holding up to remind me. Yeah, that's, that's a way to make sure you can convert your spending into earnings with your home shopping list. See you guys. Have a great night. We'll see you. Right. Have a good night.